Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're back again with probably the best blitz this year in Madden. Uh, once again, this is an unslidable, unblockable, it could come in against max protection, blocked running back. It's really good. You see here uh, some in-game play footage of this. I've been using it for a couple of days, and it is by far one of the best, if not overall, in my opinion, the best defense in Madden 17. I've actually switched playbooks because this defense is so good. The playbook that I'm using it out of is the New York Giants. It is a 4-3 base type playbook, so a lot of the blitzes from the Cowboys defense will work in this as well. This video is going to be a little bit longer than the normal videos because I want to explain everything and what makes this blitz so great. The setup for this is to base line, pinch your D-line, crash them down, spread your linebackers, and then blitz your left uh, outside linebacker. And then you can zone up your right of screen in and right of screen defensive tackle. And we're going to get great uh, untouchable, unslidable pressure. Now you see with the running back on the opposite side, that's the side you're going to want to send the blitz from because you see here we're actually going to block the running back and the blitz still comes in untouched with the running back not coming over to block. Here it is again, but this time we're only going to send three guys. We're going to put the defensive tackle uh, over the nose in a zone as well and block the running back. And you see it's still going to come in untouched with a blocked running back. This is not as consistent as if you're sending four or five guys. So if you want to send this, make sure that you're going to get a uh, fast guy in that position. But I don't recommend sending three. Uh, a lot of the times I like to send four or five at uh, least. Next, we're going to do this sending only four. And we're going to max protect with the running back and tight end. They're both on the right side of the field. So like I said, we're going to send the blitz from the left and you see max protection we still get a guy untouched uh, with eight guys blocking only sending four here's an example of slide protecting to the left with a blocked running back and you see that we're going to set it up uh, sending the blitz to the left and we're going to get untouched clean pressure that's actually max protection slide protected left with a blocked running back and a blocked tight end still getting untouched clean pressure now if the running back is on the left side we're going to send the blitz to the right so the Setup for this is base align, pinch your D-line, crash them down, spread your linebackers, and then you're going to blitz your right of screen linebacker. And you see that we're going to get pressure coming off the right edge now because the running back is blocking or potentially going out on a route on the left side of the field. So here it is with a slide protect to the right. Uh, we're set the defense up again. We can zone the backside defensive end and line uh, defensive end. Slide protecting right, and we're going to use it a free safety this time. And you see, with a blocked running back, we still get the pressure coming off the right edge. So we're sending four to five guys against their five or six, and we're still getting one free. So you're beginning to see what makes this defense so great is because we can send it to the left and the right, and it looks the same, and we're just going on the opposite side of the running back. So this is the basic setup for a great blitz to come in. If you want to make it even better, the next uh, few clips are going to show you how to make it better by sitting it left and right. And it's just going to be uh, ridiculously impossible to block. And it's the best way I like to run it. What you're going to do here, though, is you're going to base a line, pinch your D line, crash them down. But this time we're going to move the outside linebacker outside and re blitz him. And then you want to put the right of screen defensive end and the right of screen defensive tackle in any type of zone or man them up. And this is gonna come in consistent, untouched pressure from the left no matter what. So the next thing I like to do is the same setup except I like to bring the strong safety down to the line of scrimmage to make it look like he's gonna blitz because if the running back is on the left side of the field, I wanna send the strong safety blitz and then zone the left side of the line. So you see even a tight end blocked on the left with the slide protect left still doesn't pick this blitz up. That more than likely will get picked up from the standard setup. That's the reason I like to run it this way. So the next thing they're going to try and do is max protect. So now they're going to block the seven guys and we'll do the same exact setup only sending four people with max protection sliding left. 
and you see that outside linebacker is still coming in free. So guys, this blitz is just ridiculously hard to stop and block. Here's going to be an example of pretending the running back is on the left or, you know, the tight ends on the left and we want to send it to the right. You see we do the same exact setup but zone up the left of screen and we're going to use the middle linebacker, whoever you like, and we're going to still get the strong safety coming free untouched uh, against this defense. We're slide protecting, max protecting to the right and you see it still doesn't come in. You can run this out of the cover three, cover two, or man. The only thing with if you're going to send the blitz from the right with the strong safety is you have to know that he has that deep uh, half of the field. So no matter what, you're going to have to bail um, in case they try to throw it over the top. So if you're playing cover two, I highly recommend you can bring the safety down, but definitely leave him in his deep half coverage. And then the last one is the cover one man, same setup. Um, you can just man the guy you're blitzing off of, whoever he blitzes uh, from. You just use the free safety and man him up on the guy, and you can zone up the right side of the field, and you see that we still can get a guy untouched with a blocked running back. So I hope you all enjoyed that a little bit longer than I normally do with videos, but I just wanted to emphasize on how good this blitz is. This is the personnel that I use online in Mutt. Personnel is key in this defense. You want your three interior guys to just eat up blocks, and then you want your two outside guys to be high power or finesse moves with a little bit of speed, because sometimes you're gonna put them in zone, uh, the backside, whichever side you're not gonna be blitzing, and then you want your two middle linebackers to be really fast with high pursuit. And then I like to put my two best corners uh, outside and then I'll put the best man coverage corners they both have 90 man coverage because sometimes I'll man them up I like to put them back there so I'm telling you personnel is huge in this defense if you can run this defense right with proper setups and uh, adjustments it's gonna be really hard and give your opponent a huge headache because he don't know if pressure is coming left or right and what makes it so hard is that it is unslidable. So no matter what they do, this, these blitzes are still gonna come in. So make sure that you're usering and taking your opponent's first read away, and you're either gonna have them eat the sack or throw a pick to your uh, guy that you're gonna be covering with your user. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, the best blitzes, and tips every week, head on over to the link in the description below.